episode, we're going to look at some Rails migrations. And I'm sure that you're already familiar with some migrations, like a scaffold, where we can specify a model name, user, and then we can pass in some attributes, like the name and the birth date. And by passing in a colon, we're able to then add additional attributes on this column. And in this case, we're specifying the data type of date. So in this episode, we're going to take a deeper dive into the Rails migrations and to see some of the other things that we're able to do within the migrations that's going to make life a little bit easier at the command line, as well as going into the migration files to see how we can manipulate those to best serve our desired outcome. And so the first example that we're going to do is just whenever we generate a model, I'll create a user model, and I want to show you a lot of the different attributes that we're able to do. So for example, for an age, we can use a colon and then set this to an integer. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the pro membership. 